Hotheads? I'm Henry and this is Blaze the Roof. This week we're reviewing a sauce out of Idaho named MFT Sauce, particularly their Ghost Sauce. So uh, MFT stands for uh, My Family Tradition. Uh, it was started in 2010 by Scott Tharp, also known as Uncle Scotty, who is pictured on the label. The, uh, the company started off with barbecues and rubs and just expanded to hot sauces. This is out of Boise, Idaho. Idaho being our 43rd state that we've reviewed. Boise is named the city of trees because when the pioneers first came over uh, a ridge, they were impressed by the huge forest that was there. It is the capital of Idaho. A few things about Boise, it does have the largest Basque community in the United States and the fifth largest in the world. It's also a hub for uh, jazz, theater, and indie rock. It's a thriving performing arts scene. And uh, their downtown is also known as Bodo. Famous people from Boise, Idaho include David Lynch, who basically grew up here. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, he directed Twin Peaks. It's just kind of an odd guy, but I mean, still gets tapped to direct a lot of things. So Former Broncos quarterback, Jake the Snake Plummer, who is also an alumnus of uh, Arizona State. Uh, actor, Aaron Paul. You may know him as Jesse Pinkman on Breaking Bad or Todd Chavez on BoJack Horseman. Both excellent shows, by the way. And uh, wrestler Tori Wilson. Now, let's look at the packaging. As I mentioned before, you know, Uncle Scotty's there at the top. You know, MFT is surrounded by flames. There are block letters. Aside from that, it's a pretty, pretty basic. Uh, yeah, he looks a little bit like Shaggy with sunglasses. Pretty interesting. Aside from that, you know, there's um, really not much else of note, except it is handcrafted. Uh, no MSG as well, all natural. Uh, let's look at the ingredients. We have organic uh, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, reverse osmosis filtered water, unrefined whole cane sugar, garlic, onion, Himalayan sea salt, organic tart cherry juice, contains less than 2% of the following, ghost pepper, habanero, uh, cayenne, lemon juice, natural smoke, black pepper, lemon peel, citric acid, orange peel, lemon oil, extractive of turmeric. So the ingredient I want to talk about or focus on is the Himalayan sea salt. So it is a rock salt that is mined in the, Pun the Punjab region. It's usually pinkish in hue due to its mineral impurities. Uh, also it's used in cooking, food presentation, uh, spa treatments and decorative lamps. I'm pretty sure you've seen the Himalayan pink salt lamps. Nutritionally, it's actually very similar to table salt. <laughs> and again, it's highly processed because of the aforementioned mineral impurities. And so uh, it costs 20 times as much typically. So you're getting the same thing for 20 times the price. Marketing works, people. It really does. <laughs> so, uh, before we get any further though, let's hear from this week's sponsors. Men are notorious for getting holes in their underwear. Gents, it's time to sack up with Payne's Burlap Underwear. The only underwear tough enough to withstand men. No matter how small your beans or how big your potatoes are, they will be secure in our briefs or boxers. There'll be no need to get testy. Payne's burlap underwear. You're finally good in the sack. Warning, chafing is inevitable. Now for the moment of truth. It smells like a barbecue sauce. Heavily like barbecue. What would be in here that's, I guess the vinegar and the ketchup or the tomato. So if you ever want to make your own barbecue sauce, you can basically throw together, uh, what is it, vinegar, ketchup, and a little bit of mustard, salt and pepper, and you pretty much make your own barbecue sauce at home. Although I can smell the sugar too. And this sauce is all over the place. I mean, it's got tomato paste. So this is mostly like sugar, vinegar, and tomato. So again, it's... You know, it's a, a darkish red, kind of what you would see with a uh, like using like red habaneros. But all right, let's see what we let's see what this is all about. Here we go. 
All right, the heat's definitely light. You can tell, I guess, there are habaneros because it is in the back of the tongue. It is very tangy with a touch of sweetness. So it does taste like a, like a barbecue sauce. Just kind of watered down. Like, it's like a watery barbecue sauce. It is good. It is delicious. It's not what I was expecting, especially from a ghost pepper sauce. But, um, yeah, again, it doesn't have much heat. So this is definitely a lightweight sauce. But very flavorful. It's very tangy. Um, so it's not devoid of of taste or seasoning. It's definitely a very taste, uh, tasty sauce. And then because it has natural smoke in it, this would be perfect on barbecued foods. Aside from that, um, probably wouldn't use it on much else. I mean, uh, chicken, ribs, uh, pulled pork, yes, but like not pork chops. I want to use it on breakfast. Again, not much heat. And for ghost pepper sauce, I would have thought there would be a little bit more heat, but that's my only complaint on the sauce. Aside from that, pretty good. Next week, I'm going to be reviewing a sauce named Eagle Wings. It is out of Delaware, and I'm going to be reviewing the original sauce. Until then, remember, spice up your life. Take care.